Amigos, welcome back to our channel, Atrocities Upon Cities, where today you're going to be seeing us add a border to our 16 by 16 pavers patio that we did a couple months ago. You guys can see the pre-treated wood that we added as a border before. We had already let them know before that it was not going to work. A couple pieces were missing and we tried to stake it out as best as we could, but over time it just gave over and that's what it does. We told them we can add a brick border over time, so here we are again. You guys can see a couple of the pavers fell down and the crabgrass started growing in between so that's something that I take care of for free I fixed all those areas for free as you guys are gonna see us work into this video like that and then we brought in the bricks and you'll go we'll go to the store you guys can come with us and then we'll see how you guys can see from here there's a couple that are low everything else looks fairly straight so we took out the pre-treated wood right there and we went ahead and moved everything back so we can get ready to take the two rows on the left and then one row on the right so we'll take all those pavers out we will add a little bit of sand and make sure that it's level again we're gonna put the the pavers back and then compact again well, you guys all know that we put sand on top for today I broke a paver um, every time I do it the first time we did it I think I broke one this time I broke another one you know luckily last time we had extra or we ordered the right amount but we didn't charge or told her that we did we couldn't cut and that if we did it was gonna fall over time and she needed to add a border instead of finishing it with the with, with the pavers here so that's why we're here adding the border you guys can see that we took out the pavers already they're pretty heavy they're 16 by 16 most of the pavers that we work with are 12 by 12 but as we progress they're changing them you guys can see we are already progressing here moving this pre-treated wood into the brick position and we add um we are gonna add sand to make sure that it looks good and we're gonna add um uh footing of cement so we're gonna get to the store let's continue on this video it's a little fast out here so sorry for the pauses that I've been doing today it was just a little longer so let's just go to Lowe's and show you what we bought thanks fellas Amigos, welcome back. Here we are. We're already back with all the supplies that we need. We have the trowel, we have the sand, we have all the quickery and the bricks that we need. We have everything ready to go. I already placed the uh, pavers back. We already have the sand there ready to go. And we're just going to compact. You guys all remember I put sand on top of my pavers and I always break one. You know, so we'll go ahead and change it after. You guys can see I put everything around. I make sure I, I leave everything where I'm going to need it as we go sometimes I do the projects by myself and this is how I add all the 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 mud out here you know this is how I make the the footing I I added a couple extra trowels of cement plastic cement to my regular quickery and a couple scoops of sand to make it a little stronger since it's a border and we're just gonna go ahead and spread it out you know so we'll continue you guys can see how nice it looks we did a, a, a two-stage thing here we go we went ahead and inserted into with the trowel you guys can see how I move the mud a little and then little areas that we make sure we take care of everything's gonna dry overnight and we'll be back the next day you guys can see I washed everything off looks brand new this is our compactor and this is what the border looks like before we come back and squeeze the grout um, I use the same type S mortar that you saw and I add a couple scoops of plastic cement also Everything looks perfect out here a couple only one error that I made It's not an error I could have made an adjustment to make it look a little different But this is also how I do different things. Let's see
Amigos, there you have it. Everything came out perfect. Everything looks great. I told you guys one adjustment that could have been better. It wasn't wrong, but it could have been better. There's our compactor and our everything that we carry it with. You guys can see everything came out perfect. So thanks to everybody that keeps watching our channel. You guys are the best. Please keep telling your friends and we'll keep growing almost at a dozen subscribers. So for now, see you later. AUC, amigos.